Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I'm doing all right with the exception of this like little, this little turtleneck piece right here. I literally feel like I cannot breathe. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I see a lot of people in my day who can pull off turtlenecks very well, but I don't think I'm one of them. I feel like my mom has dressed me for like my kindergarten school photo and it's just, I don't know. But today we are going to be trying out a new lip product. We are going to be testing out this little guy right here, which is from Fenty Beauty. This is my very first Fenty Beauty product item, and I'm super excited about it. This is the Stenna lip paint. It is from Mariana's collection. I have the shade Uncensored, which I believe is currently the only shade right now. It's like really pretty red. I purchased this from Sephora online, and it was $24, which is a little bit pricey, but they do claim that it is supposed to last for 12 hours, and it's supposed to be the perfect red. Now, I have struggled with the concept of wearing a red lipstick for a long time because I never really wanted to draw like that much attention to my face but I feel like red lipstick is beautiful for the holiday season so I really really hope that this is indeed the perfect red. Oh and by the way I am currently babysitting my aunt's dog for a couple minutes while she is out. This is Steve by the way so if you hear any doggy noises going on this is the culprit. Alrighty so back to the lipstick. This lipstick is supposed to wear 12 hours like I said. It's supposed to be weightless and matte and just be beautiful and perfect so I'm very excited to try this on. This is what the packaging looks like and I personally think it's beautiful. It's very different and unique. It has a plastic piece up here which is the cap and it also says Fenty Beauty on it. And then at the bottom here we actually have a nice like weighty piece of glass that has the liquid lipstick inside. I do really really enjoy the packaging of this. I think it's very different than a lot of other liquid lipsticks I have seen. I like that it can stand on its own as well so you can like display it. I think that's pretty cool. The price is a little bit high at $24 but at least the packaging is very nice so I approve of that. Here we have the actual little doe foot applicator itself. It is a very interesting shape. It's like round on the tip and then it kind of goes in. It is not your standard doe foot and they said that this is like supposed to be the best doe foot ever. There is a smell to it but it's not crazy strong. It does smell a little bit vanilla-y. Nothing too crazy or anything though. It's not like punching you in the face with smell. Alrighty so let's go ahead and try this on. Now I will warn you guys I do have kind of dry lips right now. I feel like I constantly have dry lips. It's just like something that plagues me but during the winter time my lips are extra dry so I did try to scrub them as best as I could but you know things might not be too perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom y'all. Nope that's the wrong direction. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit so we can get the up close action of the application of lipstick. Ooh and they weren't kidding. That is incredibly pigmented and I have only gone over this just kind of like deep deep and it has covered extremely well. I feel like the wand is really like hugging the edges of my lip, which is good. Alrighty guys, so here it is applied to my lips and I did only have to dip in one time and I think I got like really nice, fully opaque pigmented coverage with just that one dip. It does feel incredibly lightweight. It's not like heavy and like thick or anything like that. I can already tell that it is drying down. And we'll do a little smooch test in just a minute once it is like fully dried. But right now I'm really liking it. I do enjoy the color. I think it is a very, very nice red. It is really like bold, but like the undertones of it are really nice. They're not like too bright and neon-y, so it is almost a little bit understated as well. I don't know you guys, I'm kind of liking it. I'm a little bit excited to wear this throughout the day to see how it actually wears. So I will be wearing it throughout the day and I'll be checking in with you guys to show you like you know, how it's how it's kept up. Um, the only thing that might be changing in between those times is that this, this has gotta go. But other than that, I'm just gonna be going throughout my normal day. I'll take you guys with me. I'll show you the sights of whatever it is I do. It's probably not gonna be much. I'll check in after I eat and that kind of stuff to see how it hangs in there. It is supposed to be very long wearing, so, uh, Fingers crossed that that is true. You might have just heard my stomach growl. I'm very sorry about that. Alrighty guys, that is all for now. I will see you all at the first check-in. Alright guys, I am about to eat some dinner, but I wanted to show you where we are with the lipstick right now. It still looks pretty good. It's probably about two hours after application, and I did remember that I forgot to show you guys the uh, kiss test, which I have tried it out a couple of times on my hand, as you can see. And also, as you can see, it does transfer a little bit, so I'll just go ahead and do it again real fast. So there it is, transferred onto the back of my hand. This lipstick didn't say it was transfer proof, it just said it was very long wearing, but I don't really see like any pieces or patches coming off after I do do a kiss test, so uh, that's good. <laughs> does that confuse you, Steve? Steve's afraid of stairs, so he can't actually go down the stairs, but um, he's still adorable. Oh my gosh, Steve, you did it!
This is the dinner I am about to eat. I have a piece of grilled chicken with my two favorite sauces, especially mixed together in the entire world. We have some ranch and some barbecue sauce. I know that sounds absolutely disgusting, but honestly, it's amazing and I love it and this is my favorite food. Whew, I just ran up a small flight of stairs. I have to catch my breath. <sighs> anyway, uh, I just got done. <sighs> Gosh, I'm out of shape. I just got done eating dinner. I ate all of my chicken and I also had a fairly large helping of uh, this ice cream right here. This is the caramel hazelnut fudge truffle ice cream from Private Select from Kroger and it's delicious. So here is the ice... <laughs> Here's the ice cream. Here is the lipstick after I have eaten and everything and I think it's held in there very very well especially through all of the saucy chicken I just had. Um... I think it looks really good. The inside is coming off a little bit, but that's normal for me. But I still think it looks real good. So, so far I'm very happy with this lipstick. Steve, why are you going crazy? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got done eating an apple because I figured it would offset that like pint of ice cream I ate that was like shoved with truffles and like a center core of caramel. Um, yeah, because that's how that's how science works if you don't know. It's about 7 o'clock and I still think it is looking pretty good. I'm not noticing any like flaking or like really wearing off or anything like that. I do have a little bit on my chin and I can see a little bit here coming off, but I think that's mainly just my really dry lips. It does feel super lightweight, not super moisturizing though. If you do have really, really dry lips like I do, it feels like you want to put something else on them but the color is great and it's still holding in there. Alrighty guys so this is the final check-in of the day and this stuff has been on my face for at least 11 hours. I know it did say that it is 12 hour wear but you know what I believe it. I'm gonna give it that extra hour because I'm ready to go to bed and this stuff definitely stays put. I have eaten I don't know, five times today, five, six, seven times today. I'm not really sure at this point. I've had the chicken, I've had ice cream, I've had an apple, and then after all that, my boyfriend called me up and said, hey, you wanna go to Old Charlie's? And I was like, yes, I do. So even after all of that, I still think it looks really nice. I am left with a lot of color still on my lips. I have not like reapplied at all. I will say that it did come off on the inner portion of my lip, which I mean, every single lipstick I've ever worn does that because like my lip kind of rolls out a little bit. So when I rest my lips together like you can see that this part is gone but that's because my lip like rolls I don't know I can see it breaking up just a little bit over here around the edges of my lips and there's just like the ever so slightest feathering on the top of my lips but other than that I think it has done absolutely amazing for an 11 hour wear it is a little bit drying but I don't know if that's just because I already have really dry lips but it's not like a fluffy moussey formula or anything like that. It is very thin and weightless, but at the same time that can kind of make it feel like, you know, there is nothing on your mouth so there is no type of moisture. I do have some staining on my fingers where I have like touched my lips during dinner and stuff because I ate some chicken nuggets and uh, the grease kind of, you know, made it move around a little bit so if I touched my lips it did come off on my fingers and it does kind of stain so you might want to watch out for that. Here's a real up close and personal shot of what I'm left with at the end of the day. But overall, I think this is a really great liquid lipstick. I know it's a little bit pricey at $24. That's like kind of the only point that I'm like, Ugh, that's a little bit much. But at the same time, I have really enjoyed it. I really like the color and I have got several compliments on it. I also really enjoy that the packaging is like nice and pretty and like, I don't know, it feels a little bit fancier. Plus, if you want to look at it like you're getting like a, a decorative item for your makeup room as well, like that can kind of offset the balance of the uh, price a little bit. If you're kind of comparing it to other liquid lips like the Kat Von D liquid lip, most of them are around like the $20 range for higher end liquid lipsticks. Plus, I just went ahead and really quickly looked at a Kat Von D liquid lip and apparently you actually get quite a bit more like fluid ounces than you do in the Rihanna one even though it looks like this is like a good portion of liquid lipstick here but with the Fenty Beauty one you are getting four milliliters and with the Kat Von D one you are getting 6.6 .6 milliliters or 0.22 fluid ounces versus the 1.3 fluid ounces that you're going to be getting with the Fenty Beauty one. So if you're looking for a liquid lip you might want to take all those things into consideration but overall I do think it is a very good liquid lipstick and I'm pretty happy with it. Alrighty guys so that is everything I have for you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. Plus don't forget that we do have our monthly giveaway away going on right now. I will link that down below for you guys. And yeah, that is it. So I just hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!
day. Oh, I almost ran out of breath in that last sentence.